It's been a tough year for the Cricket Chicago Bears at 3-13. and They're at the bottom of not only the NFC North, but also the NFC and basically the NFL, even though, you know, the new brain trust of GM Ryan Poles, as well as head coach Matt Eberflus, a.k.a. the Ikea Toilet, they're like, we're going we're gonna to take over the North and not give it back. How's that working out? Right. Uh, so the Bears heading into week 18, they got nothing to play for, whatever. They shut down Justin Fields because they dinged up Justin Fields because – it's so stupid. It's ridiculous the way that they use him. They don't protect him. He has no weapons. And they're just like, hey, run for 150 yards and maybe we'll win. Except we'll actually lose by 20. Because every sing- oh, hold on, every single game this year for the Bears has been, hey, Justin Fields is going to put up a bunch of highlights that's going to make uh, you know Twitter and social media just like, Pfft. Justin Fields. Ah, and then... He'll put up 30 fantasy points and then the Bears lose it by 20. I mean, that's exactly what's happened, man. Because, I mean, the Bears have lost 12 out of 13, which is kind of hard to do. It's pretty rough. Also, do you remember their wins? Like, they beat the Niners week one. And they shellacked uh, the Patriots in the uh, 85 Super Bowl rematch. It's crazy, man. It's it's ridiculous. But uh, the question is, are the Bears going to tank? Are, are the Bears going to intentionally, well, maybe not go, give full effort Sunday against the Minnesota Fine Vikings, which I think is certainly possible and it, it's plausible because, I mean, what does Chicago really have to gain by winning a game? Now, I'm not a big tanking person, but, you know, like how, how do you convince uh, you know, a 53-man roster, 46 on game day, as well as a fistful of coaches, like, hey, don't do your job to the best of your ability so we can get a, a better draft pick and then use those higher draft picks to replace you. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. But if the Bears lose and fall to three and fourteen, and if the Houston Texans win and move to uh, three thirteen and one, the Chicago Bears beep pop pop boop boop uh, will end up with the number one overall pick. Uh, and the two matchups of Vi- Vikings at the Bears as well as the Texans at the Colts. Now the the Texans and the Colts are interesting because it could be a hey who wants to lose more situation. Even though Houston has played hard for Lovey Smith this season, respect uh, the Colts. Yeah, the Colts are in free fall. Like Colts ain't playing for Jeff Saturday. A- ain't no way. But uh, it, it could be a situation where the Colts are legitimately trying to lose as much as possible and trying to move up in the in the draft order a smidge so they can draft their future franchise quarterback. And Houston may win. I, I think it is plausible uh, that Houston uh, goes into Indy. Indy literally is laying down, and the Texans win because the Texans have played hard all season despite their record, and the Colts. Mm, mm. Uh, uh, well, they did give up. They did get up thirty-three nothing against the Vikings. How'd that work out? Uh, but then the Vikings. So Kevin O'Connell has already said that the Vikings are going to not just simply sit the starters, right? Even though that does make sense. You know, lock yourself into the three seed, get ready for the Giants. You have an extra week. Uh, keep your starters healthy. As you saw, the injury bug uh, crept up on the Vikings in the Packers game. So that would make sense. But if the Vikings are playing to win the game, and the Bears, I'm sure, would very gladly let them, especially since they're starting Nathan Peterman. <laughs> Instead of Justin Fields, they just completely shut him down. And the Vikings, I mean, they do have something to play for to a degree. But since they played the early window at noon, if the Vikings win and if the Niners lose in the late window against the Cardinals, which I don't know, David Blau, former Vikings legend, is going to be starting for Arizona. I mean, Cliff Kingsbury's dead man walking. Steve Kime is probably going to get fired uh, as well. And the Niners have everything to play for because the Niners still have an outside chance at the one seed. Like if things break right in the Eagles and the uh, and the uh, Cowboys games, even though they probably won't, since uh, neither team, uh, the Giants or the Commies, have anything to play for. The Giants are already locked in the six seed, and the Commies are eliminated. So, I don't know. We'll see what it may be a spot where I mean the Vikings don't really care and and the Bears are actually trying to lose and then the Vikings just end up winning just like an ugly game and then I wouldn't be shocked at all if the Texans and Lovey Smith and them go in and just shellack the Colts who have just rolled out like they're starting Sam Ellinger the hell man but yeah I I would. Frankly, I, I would like to see the Bears get the number one overall pick because uh, obviously they already have their quarterback, so they're not going to go QB at one. But what they can do is they can ransom off that pick to quarterback needy teams, ironically Houston, or you look at Indianapolis, or, or you look at any uh, of the other uh, teams in the draft order uh, that want uh, a future franchise quarterback, and maybe they want to come up to one. You know, maybe they do want you know Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud or take a shot at Anthony Richardson or Will Levis. But, um, I mean... <laughs> Draft season, just starting, man, just starting. But I actually kind of hope the Bears get the one number one overall pick uh, because they're just going to screw it up. 
Like they're going to screw up the compensation. They'll move down too far. They still won't get their guy. They'll mess up the picks that they get, and it'll just be delightful. It'll just be delightful, man. Oh, well, what happened? But your thoughts are thoughts. Are the Bears tanking Week 18 against the Vikings? Probably. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. Thank <laughs> you.